Well, hey everybody, I'm here doing another video on high-end graphics uh, on VMware View because that's what I have currently running in my lab. Uh, first thing I want to show you is me running DX Diac this time. So I'm doing DirectX and I want to show you that the display is truly running an NVIDIA create, uh, Grid K2. Um, so this is uh, doing a direct map or what they call a VDGA. Um, I can't remember the top of my head what that actually stands for, but I know it's direct graphics. Uh, and here you see that I've got the Grid K2. And the other thing to take, pay attention here is that uh, VMware V uh, or SVGA 3D has been fully disabled. So here I'm going to launch uh, StarCraft 2. And um, because it takes, there's various load times that go out through um, when you load this game, I'm just going to go ahead and skip ahead. So here I'm going to skip through this real quickly and go directly to a game load. So here's a, a beginning board of this game um, where I'm not really doing anything at the moment. I'm just allowing the game's story to, to develop. But what, what's interesting about this is that it's all this is all being done in real time. So this, uh, this game takes a, quite a bit of GPU power. Um, I run it uh, on a Q... Uh, NVIDIA uh, Quadro 4000 uh, on a physical workstation uh, with very similar results to what I'm seeing right here on a virtual workstation, which is pretty impressive uh, considering this game can really push uh, an engine pretty far. Um, I don't have the resolution maxed out right now. I'm doing it at a smaller scale, um, but I just didn't really care. I did push it to a full HD 1080p and it handled that just fine. Um, but uh, for recording sake, I just did a smaller version of this. And so in the background, every little um, thing is being rendered. And you might wonder why am I so focused on a video game? Um, you know, I'm a Gartner analyst. I do you know business and um, enterprises. And the reason I do it is because video games push these cards extremely well. Um, you have a lot of content happening here. Um, that uh, you know, the GPU is having to create all these different uh, artifacts on the screen. So that's why I do it, because if we can do something like this, um, it's going to be able to do uh, 3D uh, AutoCAD drawings and SolidWorks. Uh, they're you know, quite a bit uh, simpler than this. But even so, I'm going to stop uh, the video game play, play for a second here and uh, skip ahead to the uh, next little thing that I did. So here I'm going to launch SolidWorks again. And I'm going to do the same test I did on a previous YouTube video. So I'm going to bring up this engineering drawing that someone shared with me on Twitter. And I'm going to spin it. Um, one thing that you're going to notice is different from my original drawing, my original uh, example of this, um, is you'll see these nice shadows. And uh, what I think I came apart is uh, in my original test, I'm not sure I had the K2 wor working exactly the way it should work. In this test, I know for a fact it is working um, exactly the way it should for a direct pass-through. So here you see a, a much ri richer turning of, uh, of this drawing as I'm you know, zooming in and out, twisting it, twisting it around. Uh, but I really disliked how the shadow started showing up. Um, that was a bit of a surprise to me. So it definitely shows you know, um, that GPU is, is being used and um, that for this type of work, and this is obviously very high-end workstation type stuff that I'm doing inside of a, a VM, um, it works really well, and I love the wireframes there. Um, and I'd love to test this with some something more difficult, um, like a full car image or something. I'm trying to get one. But for right now, um, this does a very good job of showing you. As you can see, this is literally being remoted uh, currently over PCUIP um, and to the back end, and it's being used on a K2 GPU. So uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, definitely shows uh, an extreme high-end workload done inside of VM. Um, so now what I want to do is start pushing the shared GPU stuff, which to me, that's a more important technology. Uh, the technology I'm showing right now is obviously for extreme high-end uh, use cases uh, for high-end engineering work forms and, and stuff like that. So uh, that's it for now, and I look forward to the next time I do another GPU test for you. Have a good one.